it's Friday. I'm very backlit. I'm still in pajamas. This was one of my favorite shirts in high school. It's from Target. And it says Coca-Cola, I think, in Japanese. But the, the color scheme evokes Diet Coke. I really liked your last video. I think I've squeezed all the juice I can out of the topic of YA books for now. So today, beverages. Diet Coke. I'll knock back a Diet Coke as eagerly as the next person. Although I don't really buy Diet Coke anymore. If I had to choose between a Diet Coke and a Coke Zero, I'd take the Coke Zero, but I'm not all too discerning. I'm definitely one of the yuppie millennial types who stopped drinking diet soda in favor of drinking soda water around 2016, 2017. And I don't have a great reason why. I mean, aspartame hasn't been proven to be that bad for you. It can cause things like kidney stones, um, and it might or might not be a carcinogen, which I guess is a good reason to not drink diet soda. But it's more something that feels like it's not good for you. Like one diet soda once in a while, probably, as far as we know, isn't gonna do anything bad. Uh, but it still feels very indulgent. We grew up with a lot of Diet Coke in the house, uh, and also Diet Coke with lime. Mom was a big Coke drinker and switched to Diet Coke, I feel like sometime when I was in middle school. We were never huge soda drinkers as a family, but uh, yeah, I, I would often have a Diet Coke. I actually used to drink Diet Coke at night before bed while watching Friends in the basement or something. I don't know how I did that. Something like a Diet Coke doesn't feel like it has that much caffeine compared to a cup of coffee. It is, as an adult, enough to keep me up at night though. But if I like underdose on caffeine and don't get like my normal cup of coffee's worth and try to sneak in a Diet Coke instead, it'll just give me a headache. Hard kombucha. I don't know if you've seen these, but uh, yes, microbrewing has stumbled on a new thing. Um, I like this stuff. I don't know if you can argue that anything that contains a significant amount of alcohol is like actually good for you, but drinking something like this makes me feel better about it. At least like I'm doing two things at once. I'm drinking my alcohol and my kombucha at the same time. Gotta get that gut bacteria. Non-dairy milks. What a time we live in. I feel like non-dairy milks are a thing that even people who like them like to make fun of them a little bit just because there's so many right now. And they're almost like this sort of like yuppie status symbol in a certain kind of a way. And they're like heavily associated with like going to coffee shops and all that kind of stuff. Like a lot of young adults nowadays, I am not a vegan, but I don't buy regular milk anymore so much. The Got Milk campaign has finally worn off on me and I just want something to put in my coffee and the occasional bowl of cereal. This is where if I were a hip gamer type, I would make a tier list of all the non-dairy milks, but I can't be bothered, so I'm just gonna rattle them off. Soy milk, the original. Back when tofu was the ultimate thing that everybody ate that was a non-meat substance, we also had soy milk doesn't taste very good if it's not sweetened, and it can separate and get chunky in coffee, which I don't like. Almond milk. Pretty good, pretty inoffensive, pretty easy to find. Kinda just tastes like cloudy water. Rice milk. That one's been around forever. I've never really had it unless you count horchata. Is it good? I don't know. Hemp milk. What can't we make out of hemp? Um, it's fine. It is not one of my top non-dairy milks, but I will, I will have it. Coconut milk. Good for cooking, and I like a matcha latte with coconut milk in it, but I, I can't stand the stuff in coffee. Oat milk. The heavy hitter right now. It's pretty good. There's a lot of variance between types of oat milk now. For me, it's good in coffee, but it can't be the primary milk thing I'm tasting. If I pour it on a bowl of cereal, I just feel like I'm sucking down oatmeal water. Finally, my favorite, the dark horse, flax milk. Man, is this stuff good. I like it. I'll drink a glass of flax milk all by itself. Give me some GD flax milk any day. Mm -hmm.